Hi, Martin here. Today, this is more like a uh, fun project. Um, if you've seen my previous video where I install a full length exhaust to the 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee, with the 4.7, I mean, I do headers, uh, Delta 70 series muffler, high flow cat, three inch exhaust, all the way out. All right, and then I used um, V band clamps to put the whole system in. And I said I'd do that in case I ever wanted to change mufflers. Well, I found this 50 series heavy duty Flowmaster on uh, Craigslist, paid $50 for it. This is a $170 muffler. And for $50, why not, you know? I wanna see what this sounds like. Now, this particular 50 series, the heavy duty, does not come, you cannot get it with a center inlet and an offset outlet. It comes exactly opposite of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each end off of here and flip the ends around so it works properly. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by cutting the ends off. And I'm using a DeWalt 60 volt cordless with a cutoff wheel. And here's what the inside looks like. All right, now with that end cut off, let's get this end cut off. Now with both ends removed, there's just this little piece of metal that's left over. Go ahead and pull that out of there. That. Pull that out. Okay, now all we got to do is swap the ends and weld them on.
okay with it clamped in place, I'm just going to spot weld it in a few spots first, and then we'll take the clamps off and weld it solid. that end totally welded on. We'll switch to the other end.
starting here with the outlet side of the muffler. I cut a small piece of exhaust pipe and then I'll, I'm going to drive this piece of exhaust pipe in here to the stopping point. Then I can weld these two halves together. Then get this on there nice and flush and weld this half of the B van clamp on here. halves together. Now when welding these V-band clamps on I find it best go ahead and assemble the V-band clamp and what's happening when you weld it's helping to transfer the heat into the other half and keeps the one half that you're welding from warping by transferring the heat from one half to the other half. Now on the inlet side of the muffler what I'm doing here is welding the V-band clamp to the exhaust pipe first and then I'll figure out the length that I need to go into the uh, muffler itself from, from the V-band to the muffler. Okay, here I've stacked the mufflers on top of each other. Now, by the way, both mufflers are exactly the same width and the thickness is the same. It's just the overall length that's different. So, by setting a T-square here on the bottom and then lining these up at the end. Now, I go to this end down here. Now I can bring the square down to this end. Take your tape measure, go in here to the where you're gonna the stopping point, and I can see exactly exactly how long I need to make that exhaust pipe. All right, I went ahead and cut the piece, installed it as far as it would go to the stop. It looks like I'm about an eighth of an inch long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, and then. What I'm doing is I'm just going to test fit it, everything fits fine, and then weld it. Right now, it looks like it's lining up pretty nice. That extra eighth of an inch ain't gonna cause a problem, I don't believe. Okay, I got the tailpipe in position. Go ahead and tighten this down. <clears throat> With the tailpipe bolted into place, and I got uh, proper clearance on everything. I'm gonna come back in here and uh, weld this up. Put it in. All right, got it all welded.
really impressed with the muffler as far as the sound quality of it. Uh, it definitely has a nice rumble to it, uh, especially when it's backed into the garage like this when you first started it out. I imagine all the neighbors can hear it. Uh, I probably sound a lot like the Mustang over here. Every time you fire it up, you definitely hear it. Uh, the interior noise is definitely up from the 70 series. Uh, the resonation is not bad at all. Uh, you get a little bit at a few uh, different RPM ranges, like between 1800 and 1900 RPM, uh, but it's very low. And performance wise, I mean, it seems to be the same. Um, it, like my daughter said, it sounds faster when it's going slower because it definitely has that rumble to it when you get on that, uh, when you're first stepping into the throttle, that low end torque. Uh, RPM range, you can definitely hear it then. Um, and I did see a small decrease in miles per gallon, but I, I imagine that's only because I'm having fun with it and I'm getting into the standing on the skinny pedal a little bit. So, uh, in all in all, for $50 plus the V band, I think it was well worth it. And uh, Blue Master, if you're listening, send me a Super 50. I'll try that one now too. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe.